morning. Uh, I'm gonna put my robe on. There's a towel here, I swear. I feel like I'm racing against the clock before my skin dries. Since I just got out of the shower and there's nothing worse than like your face feeling really dry and you can like feel, feel the pores being like, <laughs> we need something. Anyways, I just want to show you guys my skincare. I have partnered with Yours Skincare, made in Switzerland, a completely personalized skincare too. So guys, they made me take this quiz and what was cool about this quiz was it wasn't like your sort of ordinary skincare quiz where you're like, I have acne prone skin, I have combination skin. Those were questions too, but it was about like where you live in the world, what's your stress like, what's your environment like. And then they gave me these wonderful things. I've been using them almost about a month now. And I, like guys, this is all scars. Like that's straight up just a patch of scars just from a very bad incident I had using azelaic acid. And then thinking I was purging, turns out I was just really allergic to it. Like I was having just a bad reaction. So this has saved my skin since then. So what it is, is they give you a day serum, a night serum, and then a day moisturizer and night moisturizer, completely personalized. So I'm gonna use the day serum now. It has like little AM and PM on the top too. This is what it looks like. Oh, is it upside down? This is what it looks like. And a very, just a really cute uh, packaging. The night one is in purple. So in the shower, I wash my face with the cleanser um, that I got from them. It's like this gentle foaming cleanser. I didn't realize how much I loved a foaming cleanser until I tried this guy out. And like when I'm taking my makeup off at night, it is just the easiest, lightest thing. And it makes me feel like I'm not like stripping my skin. Like it just feels like I'm like taking off, taking off the grime of the day. Guys, like my skin was so bad during like this summer, like during the peak of the summer, which is so unfortunate because like summer is when your skin, you want your skin to be nice, but it was bad. It was really, really bad. And I'm literally so scared to go back. I was put on antibiotics for my skin. It was that bad. They say when you're going off antibiotics, that's when you should have like your best skincare routine. And thankfully that is when uh, yours reached out to me gave me my personalized skincare and now I feel like I have such a good routine that I'm on the mend from how bad that experience was um, pre-antibiotics and pre-everything. Like I just, I feel like this, you know, I've got acne scars, but I'm not, new things aren't coming up. These are just helping me heal and just helping me get my life together for my skin. Cause God, like there's nothing worse than just feeling like no matter how much Cover up, you put on concealer, foundation, like nothing is making it help. So, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder. I'm literally using it as a mirror so that I can put my makeup on today. But guys, I obviously usually get ready um, in the bathroom after I shower, but I wanted to do it with you guys. Got my Coco Neve head wrap on. Uh, my hair, I just did the Coco Neve hair mask. I do it like pretty much every time I shower, every once a week. Um, it's not every time I shower. Shower twice a week and then I use the Coco Neve thing like one one of those times and then I do rice water the other time because I'm on my hair bullshit right now. So I used the moisturizer, I used the serum. I could put a little bit more just, just for fun. And then what's cool about this, this is gonna be yours is like holy grail product i swear it is this it's called sunny side up it's this sunscreen like spray on sdf uh you can do it one of two ways you can just spray it all over your face or i kind of like to like spray it in my hand and then go like that what's cool about this though is that there's i mean no white cast at all because can i show you will it show up it's yellow like it has a yellow tinge to it and like don't let that scare you because there's sleep because it just means that it's not a white cast SPF, it's, it will just go to your natural thing. But what's awesome about a spray on is if you have makeup on already, you just spray it on top and like lightly pat it in and then you're fine. I literally did it yesterday and it didn't ruin my makeup. So, okay, that's me talking about yours. I do have a promo code, it's all linked down, um, but it is genuinely one of those things that I love, even, even if it wasn't a sponsored thing, I love it. So just take take my experience where it has been an insanely positive one and I, I feel my skin 
drinking it up. I feel it healing, so I'm just very happy to be in the upward mend of my skincare thing. You guys, if you're not new here and you saw my last vlog, I'm sure you could just see a difference and you're like, holy crap. Um, even if it looks bad, like, <laughs> They're just all scars, man. They're just all scars. Anyways, onto my hair care stuff. I'm gonna brush my hair before I uh, before I show you what I do, because <laughs> it's just gonna look bad. Okay, I know they say not to brush through your curls. I just don't know if I'm on that level yet. Maybe soon. I lived my entire life thinking I just had wavy hair. I'm one of those people. What's up? I know TikTok popularized it, but I definitely have a curl to my hair. I just want to show you guys what I've been doing to like keep it healthy, keep it keep it going. I really uh, should have cleaned up before I started my video. I just, it, is my room a bit messy or? Anyways, really into these three things on my hair every time I after I shower. First is the Coco and Eve. You guys, I've talked about it before. I am an affiliate with them, but it's the like a version like hair elixir, I believe it's called. I love this. I love the feeling of this. I love the smell of it. I love what it does to my hair. Holy grail. This one is new. Oh, it's almost empty because I just got a trial side of it. It's the Evita Curl Enhancer. Is it even, is it showing up? And I'm such a fan of this. I genuinely feel like it. Um, get this. <laughs> Enhances my curls. Uh, so yes, I'm going to need to buy this one in a big size. Um, and then this Evita Botanical Repair. Any sort of Evita, like, repair product or like dead end product I find has really been helping my hair if you guys didn't know let me let me put you guys on this as I glop my hair stuff on is that I had beautiful long luscious hair oh I'm literally glopping it so I had beautiful long luscious hair I still have beautiful long luscious hair to be fair it's pretty long I will give it that but I ended up um getting a bad haircut where I was like take off all the dead ends and she took off all the dead ends like to be fair you know she did she did what I asked her to um but I think it was just such a shock for me being like oh my god that much of my hair uh was quite dead um that I have now been like super into just treating my hair so well like I microfiber towel it I don't use normal towels anymore like I don't shampoo as much I don't use as much heat even just like the art, the art, <laughs> the art of like making my hair really nice after I shower um, is actually just so that I don't need to go through the pain of using heat on it because I just feel really bad now every time I use heat on it. Um, so it turns out the key to wanting to treat your hair good is going through a traumatic experience where the girl cuts off a little bit too much hair. So yeah, what I've been doing now is so many... Um, I have this one favorite TikToker, I forget what her name is, Lily something, and she's like really big in like the hair community, but I just follow her routine, so holy grailish. She talks about using rice water, where you like put rice in a cup of water, leave it overnight, um, and then just like take the rice out and then rinse your hair in rice water and leave it on for like 10 minutes right after your shampoo. I do that like once a week. To be fair though, after I've been doing all these crazy things, like I put so much oils in my hair now, serums, like I'm just really treating my hair nicely. I can make like a full dedicated video instead of just like me talking about it in this vlog. Because I've been treating my hair so nicely that when I went to go get it bleached the other day, by the way, got my hair bleached at uh, the Project Salon in Edinburgh, and it was really good, especially after my last bad experience. I was like, help me, <laughs> take me in and be gentle to me. Um, I actually didn't even get my hair cut that time because I was so scared, but she kept saying how healthy my hair was for someone who bleaches her hair, and I was like, yeah, let me put you on this thing. It's called rice water, it's called argan oil dumped in my hair, and um, I sleep overnight. Uh, if I'm showering the next morning, then I always sleep overnight with like uh, a bunch of oil in my hair, usually castor oil. It's like the most uncomfortable one to work with, like argan oil is nice and it's like oily and you put it in your hair and it like drinks it up. Castor oil is quite sticky, but I find it does like the best job. Like my hair feels amazing after I use castor oil. So I'm just scrunching my hair. Let me, let me do it off camera and then I'll come back to you and then I'll show you um, it when it's dry. Okay, and this is how curly my hair ends up. It's not totally dry. It needs another little bit, um, but it's, you know, gets the job done for the day that I'm about to have. Guys, I think my day is really just packing and running errands. 
I am about to head up to the Highlands uh, this weekend for my friend's birthday. I'm not gonna vlog it just because I wanna like actually experience my friend's birthday. And But I will, at the end of this video, show you guys some of the videos I took. I think I'm gonna make like a cute little montage. So if you wanna see how my how my weekend up in Aviemore, Aviemore goes, then stay tuned for that one. Currently just packing right now. Gonna change into actual human clothes and then I think I'm gonna start uh start my day but i'll show you guys what i'm packing okay so here's a little overview of what i'm packing i'm literally just bringing this we're only there for like friday night and saturday night and leaving like quite late on friday so it's not even like it's pretty much just a full day there so uh i've got this two-piece set which will be my driving outfit guys we're going to a cabin in the woods that is why i've got literally just jeans this comfy thing and then this sort of like workout set? I don't know. In my brain, this makes sense. Uh, but I have a feeling I'm just gonna wear this the whole time. I love brown on brown. I got these uh, trousers from Primark. The only thing is, and to be fair, I've washed them a freakish amount, but they have, they just pill like crazy, but they do fit me and it's really hard to find trousers that like lengthwise fit me well because I'm so short at 5'2". Um, and then I have over here a disposable camera, which I started ages ago when I moved to Edinburgh and I just need to like fill it up. I never think to bring it, so I'm bringing it in there. This is a book uh, that is totally 18A. I bought it because of TikTok and then I didn't realize it's like, like pure smut. Like every, every chapter is something. So it's taken me a while to get through it because like the plot's not, it's not plot heavy, you know? It's not like an easy read. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna try and finish that. I doubt I will because girls trip. Um, and then, oh, I'll show you. Oh, do I dump it? I've got all my yours things. Uh, the ones I just showed you, but then I'll show you the, uh, the night ones just kind of look like that. Uh, so I know the difference. This is my, like, favorite lip thing in the world. It's from First Aid Beauty. Uh, I've really chopped lips and it's the only thing that helps. I think this is the only hair thing I'm gonna bring and maybe some argan oil. I've got this fluffy bag, I got it ages ago at HomeSense, um, and I just shove everything in there. I'm debating wearing makeup. We're going to some cool uh, reindeer sanctuary. Yes, I said reindeer sanctuary. I have a feeling by the end of the vlog I'm not gonna wear makeup today, it just doesn't make sense for me to. So is this my first makeup free vlog? I feel like that's that says a lot about how I feel about my skin. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup uh, or bring makeup on the trip. I'm still debating it. It's that we're going to the reindeer sanctuary. Will I wear makeup there or not so that I can like take some cute photos? I'm gonna bring it just because I know I'm gonna want those photos for a while and I want to feel like, I mean, I feel pretty without makeup, but I'm gonna want to feel like my best self. So I'm gonna do that. But guys, I've got to go run some errands in town now. Uh, I'm gonna finish packing and then I've got a few things I need to do. One, it's my friend's birthday, so I've got to go on the hunt to find a cake. Um, there's this cute little bakery I think I'm gonna try and head to first and they usually have like a pre-made birthday cake. And then if that doesn't work out, I'm just gonna go to m and I know they have like pre-made cakes there. So that's my plan for that. And then I had a drop last night, do my online thrift store. Uh, so I'm gonna go ship out or go pick up some uh, package slips just so I can like ship them out. And then I sold a few books on Depop. Uh, that I just happen to have and like not really care to own anymore so I'm just shipping those guys out as well just before I leave for the weekend. Guys, it's gonna be so weird. Is this even in focus? <laughs> okay, this is the outfit that I'm wearing to go out and run errands. If you guys watched my outfit of the week video, this, uh, get this, was an outfit of the week except I had a belt on it. I just can't find the belt and at this point I just don't, just don't care enough to get the belt. So I'm gonna go and show you what I can uh, when I remember to film. I'm gonna go get that cake. I wonder what you are doing in a city park riding. Or better yet, you know I bet you're at home cooking. All right, mini haul. Halloween chocolates, kombucha, and smoothie. The packages I need, the perfect cake, some banners. Wait, let me show you the cake. Look at that. 
I just grabbed the cutest one of the pile. And then she also loves carrot cake. Not to be confused with those, so I got her a little thing of that. And then we are leaving pretty late in the afternoon after everyone gets off work, so we're just having dinner there. So I got these three pizzas. Most of them were on sale, so. Okay, I made the very smart decision in choosing a rolly thing because with every grocery thing I just bought, carrying this and just pulling it behind, it's gonna be so much easier. Um, and then I got my friend a present. I'll show you guys. I beat her in this game multiple times when we went to this like cabin in the woods before, so. Just got her Scrabble, which by the way is more expensive than I thought it would be, but so totally worth it because I love this game so much. Figured that was appropriate for her and I don't have any rapid things. So I'm just leaving it in the Amazon thing because it saves me from buying paper that I will just literally throw out and she'll literally throw out. So I guess I'm done packing, question mark. Let it be known. I'm bringing my makeup. So expect a lot of pics from this little weekend. All right, I'm going back out again on another little errand haul. Um, I need to go and ship off these uh, books that I've sold on Depop. Almost forgot about those, but I didn't. So, I'm sure the people who bought the books will appreciate that one. Um, and then I'm gonna go buy coffee, just in case the Airbnb doesn't have coffee. I know I need my like local good. Uh, if you live in Edinburgh, actually I believe it's brewed in Yorkshire. Um, I drank Grumpy Mule, and I really like that coffee. Guys, the purple shampoo I used today worked wonders. Uh, it, it is the Vita purple shampoo. I'm actually doing this thing where I'm trying out different samples of purple shampoos to see which one my hair likes most. Yeah, and what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna get allergy meds. I was like, there's three places I'm stopping. I live so, like, downtown Edinburgh that it's just so, I'm so happy that I'm a two minute walk away from everywhere I need to go. Then I can come up and do other things that I need to do. I feel like this is a, a, a I did say it would be. This is a very get shit, get my shit together day, get my shit done day. All right, guys, I guess. Let me put this down. Is this a good angle? <laughs> um, guys, this was a really short vlog, but I'm gonna extend this video by showing you my weekend. Um, so thank you for helping me plan for the weekend and helping me set up. By the time you see this vlog, I will be back. Um, but for right now, I'm not, and it's all, you know, ahead of me. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, let me know what you think of my trip that I'm about to post right now. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.